Um, I, I thought it was a, a really hard-fought basketball game. Uh, you know, I think it's going to be a typical Atlantic 10 type of basketball game. It's a battle. The league is just so good from top to bottom. Everybody's got really good players. And I thought we were locked in. I thought we came out. We played great start the game. Second half, we played great. Uh, we really defended with a purpose. Uh, we played extremely unselfishly. Uh, and then I think it was more them than it was us. I mean, the, the ability to keep them down is so hard because the ability to make threes like that. When you have three guys that can create their shot, get their shot off with length, uh, and shoot it with such confidence. You know, we were up 20. It went from 20 to 12 in a heartbeat. And I wouldn't say it was mistakes by us. I thought it was really tough shots that they made. Uh, and then it was a battle. But I thought our kids really stepped up. We, made, we had big stops down the stretch, uh, competed on the glass, and we made the key free throws um, down the end of the game. And again, another night where we're 19 assists on 25 baskets. I think, again, if we could continue to keep doing that and playing unselfishly, and again, not worrying about who's scoring, just a matter that we do. Uh, but we got a long ways to go. We got to get a lot better. We got to get a lot better by, by our, our next game Sunday against LaSalle. So and that's what we're going to be focusing on. Uh, 20 in the first half. How important is it to get him going early in the A-10 season? Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's really important. Like I said, I think Ovi's, you know, he's an all-league Atlantic 10 player. And every night that we walk out on the court, we're going to have one of the best players in the league. You know, we have one of those guys. And I thought he really played the right way. I thought he, he was locked in. He was focused. He didn't take bad shots. He played both sides of the ball. Um, you know, he's such a threat. you got to foul him. you got to keep him off the glass. He, when he makes a three, it's really – stresses people out. And if he can play the way he's now had, I don't know, five games in a row now that he's really playing well, we just got to continue to keep getting better around him and him getting better. I guess it's what you're alluding to, but in those games, is he just running within the offense, not looking to score more, just the opportunities that he's provided, he's making? Yeah, you know, he's so versatile for his size. Um, I thought we did a good job of spreading their bigs out early, letting Ovi drive by him. He can drive it, he can post it, he can make threes, he gets fouled. Um, a lot of it's in the flow of the offense. You know, we have five guys, almost seven guys averaging double figures the way we play. Um, so it's part of it. Obviously, we have certain plays that will get him certain touches when we see things, but a lot of it's in the flow of the offense and his ability. We like to use his versatility. On the other end, you got John Severe, uh, 35 points. You're familiar with that kid. What do you see from him? Well, that, that's why we recruited him so hard. You know, uh, the kid makes baskets. You know, he's a, he's a shot maker. Um, those guys are hard to find and, and good for Fordham that they have him, you know, and he, he can make shots and I thought he made some big shots and he's only a freshman. So I think he'll do that to a lot of teams this year. Um, but if he scores 35 and we win over the next four years, I'll take that every night. Obviously you didn't have Obi last year in the A-10 season, but beyond that, what's different with this team early? Yeah, I just think we're just a significantly better basketball team. We have significantly more ball handling, more shooting. Uh, we're bigger, we're deeper. We rebound the ball better. We don't turn the ball over. I mean, there's another game we had eight turnovers. Like, we couldn't catch the ball last year. Um, now, where is that going to transfer into wins and losses in the league? I don't know. The league is so good. But we're just a better team, we're really unselfish. Um, we defend better. Um, so it's a different with Ov, but it's a it's a totally different roster, really, when you look at it too. So it's not fair to really compare it. How are you holding up after uh, <laughs> surgery? Well, the one good thing is at least it wasn't my lucky gallbladder that had us on the win streak. Nice. So now I can I don't have to save it. I'm doing okay. Besides being an Atlantic 10 win, is there any any boost or any any confidence boost to being the first one and getting a win right away? Yeah, well. Sure, I mean, that's a great question too. But you know, last year it took us forever to get a win. In a couple of close ones, we lost a lot, and it took us almost to the end of the season to get a league win. So to get it on the first night, I think that's great. But I also expected to. You know, I mean, I, I, I think we have a team that we're going to go into every game in the Atlantic Ten thinking that we can win it. You know, what I mean, last year was a little bit different. Now, will we win them all? You know, obviously that's going to be extremely difficult. Um, but we're a different team. You know, but I thought we were locked in and focused. I mean, we we've been talking about it. Um, as we should be for a year now, um, but it's really it's just one game, you know. Now we got to turn a page and get ready for the next game. You know, we're, we're playing better, we're winning basketball games. We won five in a row right now, so the kids have confidence. But you know, we now have to take the next step, playing a team that went to the Sweet 16 last year. So we're gonna have to play significantly better than we did tonight to beat them. Mike is a guy known for his shooting. He had 
seven assists tonight. Is, is that the type of game people don't realize about? Yeah, him? I mean, you know, he's he's mislabeled. I mean, the kid's just a really good basketball player. I mean, he had no shots in the first half, but he had like three assists. He just plays basketball. He's going to take what the game gives him. You know what I mean? He's just an unselfish basketball player. If the shot shows, he's going to shoot it. If the pass shows, he's going to pass it. If he needs to drive it, he can drive it. He's a full basketball player. And he's defending great, too. I mean, the kid's really a, just a really good basketball player. And that's one of the differences you talked about earlier is we have a bunch of guys that can pass, dribble, and shoot. And when you have that, I think you're a difficult team to defend. Is that it? Thanks. Nice, guys. Let's go. Sal here, son.